Now, what is up, my fellow prod coders? Welcome to this video. And today we will continue working on displaying the Yelp search results. So right now we already display the uh, title or the name of the restaurant, um, the, the, the review and the amount of reviews. But we still need to display the proper tags. So as you can see, it's the same all over the place. And we also need to display, uh, yeah, the phone number and the address properly. So let's get started and let's go to our search result file. So in here, let's maybe take care of the tags first. So in here, like in the response inside the biz one business object, you see that there are categories and this is an array. So for example, the first result is in the category burgers. And if you scroll down, like the next one is in the category hot dogs and or fast food or, you know, hot dogs and burgers. So we should create these tags dynamically. And this is actually quite easy because we can just say, well, first of all, uh, where is our tag? Yes, here it is. So let's get this first no maybe let's just this span here all right and then we will say uh, const tags equals business dot map so we're going to loop over each business and then we will say category and uh, yeah let's maybe mm, Let's maybe only do this uh, span thing over here. So we will say span and then class name equals tag. And remember that if we do this, uh, like if we map over anything, we need to provide a proper key and we need to provide a key that is unique. So let's think what could be unique here. So first of all, it could, well, it makes sense that the, to pick the business ID, so like b.id, but let's also pick the category title. So we don't know if like one business can have the same tag multiple times, right? And also bear in mind that one restaurant can have multiple tags. So it's not just sufficient to just give each tag like uh, this, uh, just an ID so that won't fly okay so and then we can make this span and then we can say category and it's dot title right because remember we had this alias thing and then we had a uh, title right alias and title but we want title because this is the thing that we're going to display and then finally what we can do uh, we can go to our Thing over here we can delete this and we can just say tags okay so that should do it if we go to our site let's see if this is working oh no there's something is not working uh, b dot map is not a function oh sorry we of course need to say b dot categories totally forgot so that should do it yes and you now see nice we have tags here that's pretty good mm. the only problem that we have at the moment is that somehow these tags they're not properly separated so maybe we should work on that as well so let's go to our uh, search result and um, CSS class and uh, let's just maybe think like what could we do so we could say if you are a span and you have the class name tag and maybe let's give it hmm, maybe let's create a new class and call this one uh, 
styles and then styles and then business tag okay and we need to make this an expression otherwise it won't work okay wait so this is no i think first we need to close this and then we need to do this right yes so that seems quite okay now we need to go to our uh, search result module css and we will say global because remember this tag class is uh, from bulma so we don't want to change that and um, then we can just say right use the class that we have over here so let's just say business tag and margin height for pixel i don't know so yes that looks good you see now we have a little bit of spacing that's pretty good now the next thing we can do is we can take care of um, the pricing here so right now we have this hard-coded dollar uh, somewhere right so in the response we get this price field and in here we get one dollar or euro or up to four euro signs and we're not using that so let's go to our search result and instead of having this hard-coded uh, dollar dollar thing over here uh, let's just say remove this and let's say business dot price now it should be different as well Yes, so we now have two times euro, one times euro, you know, just an indication if the restaurant or the place is pricey or not. So I kind of like that. It looks pretty good, I would say. Um, now let's maybe take care of our address. So right now we have like this hard coded uh, phone number and we of course don't want that so let's replace this hard-coded phone number with a uh, business dot phone i think it was phone if i recall correctly right should be yes you see business dot phone so that should do it and now it will display the actual phone number yes so you see like the phone number is different that's pretty good and the next step we should do is we should display the address line now with the address it's a little bit different though because there are multiple address lines uh, over here i think somewhere where, where is it ah here yeah you see display address is an array and each element is basically one line and we need to create like a couple of paragraphs for that, I would say, and then we should be pretty good to go. So just directly under uh, tags, we can say address lines, and we will do the very same thing. But this time around, we will say uh, business.location.display address, right? So this display address is inside location and location is inside business, yes. So that makes sense and then we can say a uh, map and uh, address line and we just we will just create like a paragraph and now the important thing is that we somehow make this unique like as a key so let's say uh, business.id maybe uh, and yeah yeah, if we add like an index to it, then like we don't know whether it's unique or not. Okay, so maybe let's just add as a key this uh, address line. <laughs> let's just make it super simple. And then in here, we're going to add address line. And then we're going to close this up with a semicolon. And we can delete these hard-coded paragraphs. And then we can say address lines. So that should display the entire address yes so that is 
pretty cool actually. Now it looks a little bit. I don't know. I'm just wondering whether we should add a little bit of spacing between the phone number and this one here. We could if we wanted to, but it's actually not really required, I would say. Yeah, let's just leave it like this. If we don't like it later on, we can change it anyway. Okay, but apart from that, I think we made everything dynamic in here. We have the tags, we have the price, we have the phone number, and we have the address. So that's pretty good. Uh, so you already see we're moving really, really fast, and we are really about to finish this entire course here. So thank you very much for watching. Please make sure to give the video a thumbs up. And also I've linked a website in the video description down below. So if you have any feedback or have any ideas on what I should build next, like from time to time, I'm going to send a poll around and then you guys can decide. And you know, if enough people want a specific topic, then I will see what I can do. So again, thank you very much for watching. Uh, please don't forget to uh, check this one mailing list out. And also please don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so.